All right, I'm back. All right, cool. So I did get my camera up. We're good to go on that. Um, I also fixed a couple of things with layouts. So we should be good to go. Where's my, oh, there we go. That's the one I'm looking for. So here we are. Boom, look at that. Cool. All right. So we're going to continue working on this. I want to get it done. I want to get at least the issue planned this episode so that, you know, I can get this done this month because I, I want to use it for my portfolio. I think it's good. Uh, I think it shows a very different side of me than a lot of my other stuff, including my other fantasy piece that I am going to be submitting. So I feel like this. Yeah, I need to get it done. I want it for the end my my portfolio for the end of May. So Got to get this done. And then, you know what? Fear the Siren will be will be off the books. And we can get concentrate on the few other projects that we have uh, going, you know? So I'm going to do... I'm going to do something that I thought of real quick this morning. For sure, sheeps. I agree. Cool. Boom. That's useful. Exactly what we wanted there. Let's go. Let's go. And yep, permission everyone. Perfect. Good. We're good. All right. It's another thing off my list. <laughs> so yeah, fear the siren. Failing with the favorite clip. Okay, there we are. That's what we wanted to do. Okay. So I'm gonna take this section out. Here, so I have it. This is why binders are superior to everything. So I can do things like this. Okay. So, ritual end. Follow. I follow. 
What do we got? Right, okay. Look at the bend in that sword. <laughs> That's jokes. Anyway. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. I know exactly how I want to do this. I think. I think I know exactly how I want to do this. Maybe. So I want this to be my big double page spread ritual ending. Big power explosion thingy. Boom. Cool, anyway. Then I want this to be the unveiling of Zodnik. So where? Oh, I see what I did. Interesting. Yeah, because I ended the ritual here way way earlier no wonder I hated this scene it just makes no sense <laughs> yeah because I want it like that I want Zodnik to kind of stride out with his big horns I agree. I agree, Sheeps. I think you should capture all any and all impressions you have. Because sometimes that stuff works. You're spending too much time drawing. You're, you're too aware uh, that you have artists in your channel <laughs> right now. And all the cultists. All right, so that for sure. And you have sort of this like Zodnik. Speaks. Yeah, and then we're gonna actually move this up a page. So 
So this will be my demon creep. That's too bad, Chiefs. Sucks not to sleep well. I slept pretty good. I uh, don't mean to rub it in, but I did. Uh, and uh, yeah, I had some interesting dreams. I don't remember a whole, whole lot about them. Uh, I know I came up with an image for Strangers Beyond the Door, and I can't remember what it is, which is unfortunate. And then I remember waking up again and being like, I should have written down those three images for Strangers Beyond the Door, and I don't know why I didn't. Um, I like having fucked up dreams, though. Like, they just... They just inspire so much creativity, I guess. I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do here is Oh, I see what you mean. I don't know. The subconscious works in weird ways. dream about my high school teacher huh interesting Hmm. Hmm. I I have a weird question. <laughs> it is my brain does not shut off it uh, just does stuff okay so my question is have you have you seen this teacher since high school There's a follow-up question, by the way. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I was going to say, because my follow-up question was, if you hadn't, because I haven't seen many of my teachers since high school, uh... But it was like, if you, man, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking like on too many levels right now. Uh, if you hadn't seen this teacher since high school, 
would it matter if he had forgotten you? Uh, but if you've seen him a few times, has he forgotten you? Then why worry about it? That you know of. Whatever. If you've seen someone more than once since since high school and they remembered you every time, pattern recognition suggests that they wouldn't just randomly forget who you are. <laughs> Sure, they might. But why worry about it? It's not like you see this person on the reg anyway. I guess my point is kind of that, you know, if this person was truly part of your life, then it wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to forget you. And if they could forget you, then they probably weren't part of your life anyway. So why worry about it? I mean that's the way I look about it. I look at it. <laughs> okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. So I guess the best spot to start. Sure. Familiarity. Totally. You meet someone who you just like connect with. I get that. That's totally a thing. I mean, to an extent, me and Andrew were like that. Like we just, we just get each other and it's fine. Um, you know, within like a week of meeting him, I had already proposed that I want to do a comic project with this guy. I was like, you are amazing. I want to do work with you. We should do it. And he was like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, I'm really hard to impress, <laughs> but if you do it, I'm totally down with that. I'm like, okay, that just makes me excited because I know that if I impress you, that my project is good. So then I started working, you know, it's just... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how much I buy other life stuff either. Uh, I do think you can definitely feel uh, a connection like you know someone. Even without really knowing them. It's, it's about personality and it's about a lot of things. I don't know. I'm not an expert in psychology by any means. I just notice things. That's what I do. So I think I'm going to try and fill in some spots of things I know are going to happen. And I guess I'll flip this over for that. Yeah. Reincarnation is an interesting story subject for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just know things. It's what I do.
to the Gabos. March them in. Question. Uh, the ritual starts. We're definitely going to have, like, I'm thinking this sort of thing should be, like, pages one to three. Um, the ritual starts should be kind of four or five. Um, I'm feeling a lot of like spreads in this issue and I don't know if that's a problem or not. I don't want it to be a problem, but it could be a problem. I just wonder if it's weird storytelling and that it's trying to be more than it is, I guess. Hmm. Things to think about. I just wonder about pacing sort of thing. Yeah, no, no, that's totally true, Sheeps. I agree with that. Um... You know what? The the Gabo should march Zodnik in, and then we kind of get our introduction to that character. Cool. Yeah, 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 I got this, okay. Uh, Hypernorus is that no one's paying attention to him. And starts working towards his escape. Page six slash seven. I think, I think that makes sense. <laughs> that's uh that's a really ridiculous story sheeps <laughs> good job hello Hello, uh, is it, is it Aran? If I pronounce that wrong, please correct me. in okay cool I 
I got you. What's going on, Erin? Okay, so establishing shot. The Gavos March Zodnik in. And then the ritual starts. Paranor notices no one's looking. Then seven is uh, starts his escape. The ritual continues escape. I think this is he escapes and I actually think that where'd my eraser go oh eraser where are you what the hell oh there you are oh whoops My bad. Doing that thing. All right. Cool. Cool. My mic's like super vibrating. Anyway, he escapes prep. So I think, I think this top panel should be the sword thing. He kind of like preps for attack. And or I guess chooses a target. And then preps for attack. Yeah, probably something like that. Yeah, cool. 
I'm good with that. So then, did I forget a page? Oh, I just misnumbered them. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Why is there no 12 and 13? I just misnumbered them. That's fine. So, the question is, the question is, is I have four pages that I have no idea what to do with. Right? But perhaps what I should do is I should do something like uh, here. Hyperanor Oh no 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 we're good. We're good. First change starts on the second set. Ritual full swing. Okay, cool. That's fine. And then what I think I actually want to do is, and for those who are wondering why I don't have like the numbers pre-printed or anything like that, it's so I can do this. <laughs> this exact thing I'm right. I'm gonna do right now. That means that I need a four or five, which will be here. Oh, actually, that's wrong. I decided to change this. I want this to be four or five. And I need a two, three. And I think what I want the two, three to be is I think I want them to be, uh, like Darius gloating. Whoops. And, uh, I'd rather know pissed. I don't know. Something like that. I got to think about it. Maybe vice versa. Something like that. I think that makes the most amount of sense. So the thing I worry about, and I'm gonna pull up my file, cause I think I have it open here. I do not, that's fine. Get it real quick. If I go into uh, like the earlier issues sort of thing, which I can pop up open here for you guys. Boom, boom, boom. That was that's weird. 
Interesting. Okay. Um, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, 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 four, eight, eight. Oh, it's two eight spread. Okay. Six, four, four, two. Uh, well, not in that issue, I guess. Two, eight, six, four, three, three, four, three, four, eight. All right. Never mind. My style is very consistent. <laughs> uh, I was I was all worried about whether or not. Uh, when I when I look at the way that I have this issue constructed, it seems to me that there's going to be a lot of sort of like three pa three panel pages, four panel pages, uh, which is not a problem. I just wanted to be sure that that was consistent across the series. It's something I'm noticing when I'm writing Strangers Beyond the Door as well, that uh, I do have that kind of very, uh, I don't do a lot of little panels in this right now. I'm very much a sort of like three, four panels per, per page, but those panels have meaning and they tell a story in this like very deconstructed way, I guess, where there's a lot of space for the panels to breathe. Um, that's my personal style choice. I think that's where I, I, I think that style is where I flourish. Um, though I do have one comic that has like, uh, I don't know, like nine per page or something or eight or something like that. But that's a very uh, specific constructed comic. Like it does a lot of, um, it's built in this very visual symmetrical way. So it does a lot of things with that. But yeah, I'm definitely a, uh, a big fan of the decompressed comic as it were. Uh, I really like that style. You can go too far though. Um, it's all about pacing and whether or not those few panels have enough action to draw you in to what you're trying to do. Um, so yeah, um, I'm probably not going to use much of this stuff. I'm going to have it in the file for reference cause I think I need it for reference, but I'm not actually going to copy it cause I don't need it. <laughs> it's not, it's not helpful enough for what I want to do. Okay. So I'm just gonna type up this sort of summary I have right here uh, as quickly as I can, and then I think I'm gonna close out the show for today. Something that's been bugging me. 
Okay, no, it is working. Never mind. Uh, there's been something weird. Okay, never mind. I'll just continue what I'm doing. Sixteen, and of course we're gonna. Everything I write right now is just planning. We're gonna have to adapt. We're gonna have to reevaluate as we work through this project because it's not going to stand up as we begin telling our story. It's just not. Uh, no matter how good or how well I know the story, there's always going to be adaptations and pacing adaptations in uh, page layouts, like making things work, change, changing things around to, to effectively tell the type of story that you want to tell. Okay. So 16 Zodnik the demon. So this is actually page 14 slash 15. And this is the ritual. You need this page. Cool.
at page 12. What do I do over time? We're doing good. Okay. Just going to get this done. We're halfway through the issue. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to close out the show for today. Uh, I got some off screen stuff to do. Exchange with the Sinoe. Whoop. There we Good, good, good. I do have to rename this because I did it wrong. That's fine. Cool. Oh, I missed the space. Good, good, good. Then I actually think this will be a spread. So I'm going to delete. Seven, and that could change. We don't have to leave it like that, but that's fine. Slash for seven. The ritual commences. Cool.
Yeah, sheeps. Why is that? Just because you didn't sleep properly? Yeah, I feel you. We always have days like that. The important thing is that if you can't focus, you shouldn't. Tr uh, if you can't focus properly, you shouldn't try and force yourself to focus properly because it just won't happen. And there's no point. You'll just feel even worse. So, do what you can focus on, and then whatever else will fall into place. You know. Cool. Um, I'm not super sure about this like eight, nine, ten, eleven part. I'm not sure that it will be that many pages to really communicate the story that I'm trying to communicate. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it because that's what we do. And there's not much I can do about it now anyway. So we've pretty much got this issue planned, which is good. It took longer than I expected. But we've had some good conversations today, so it, it kind of happens, you know. Um, anyway, it is five. Where's my mouse? Oh, my God. I keep thinking that the mouse on top of my OBS is my actual mouse, but my mouse is on the other screen, and I'm just seeing it in OBS. <laughs> it's confusing. So, yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for me for today, guys. I've been going for about three hours uh, which is good. We've gotten all of this planned, which is awesome. That means that next time, uh, so next week, Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, we will uh, continue working on this. We're going to start drafting it. I'm Next week is not a rewrite book club week, so we will, if I don't finish it on Sunday, I will work on it on Monday and get it done. Uh, cause I just want it off my plate and that's important getting things off your plate. Uh, speaking of which rewrite book club is tomorrow at 8 PM Eastern daylight savings time. Uh, we'll be reading the first part of Glenn Cook's the black company, which is a fantasy military fantasy series that was recommended to us. Uh, we'll be doing that. Uh, so yeah, come hang out for that thing. Um, that'll be fun with my good friend and mod MC pepper pockets, AKA Sam. He's not here today, which is odd, but, uh, that's cool. He's got things. So <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I think that's it for announcements. Uh, yeah. Business as usual. We're in a book club tomorrow. And on the 22nd, uh, I will be taking Sunday the 21st off. Uh, but I'll be updating all of that stuff for you guys on my event manager page. Uh, I'm trying to put all my streams in there for the rest of the month so that you guys can kind of get a feel for what I'm doing. But I will not be streaming Monday the 21st. Or sorry, Sunday the 21st. Uh, I'm going to be at a convention, so I won't be there on the weekend. Uh, but I'll try and do a makeup stream probably on Tuesday. Uh, if I can. I think I can. I should make it happen. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably be doing a makeup stream on Tuesday. Because uh, I missed the Sunday. And then regular business as usual on the 28th and all that stuff. So yeah. Um, Cool. Cool, cool. That all works. Um, let's go.
got to make a note for myself for a thing to remember for that. Other than that, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, it was productive. It was productive. We had really good conversations about writing. Uh, if you have any questions, now is the time to ask before I close out the stream. If not, uh, you can always contact me uh, via my website below or um, you can follow me on Twitter at, at Freak Lab Mishaps. Uh, send me a message on there. Uh, I, oh, I got to remember to put my Instagram on this thing now. Ah, cool. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. I really appreciate it. Appreciate the support. We hit 150 followers this week, which is awesome. Uh, that's one milestone out of the books. Uh, I'm working towards the next one. Um, yeah. So thanks for everything, guys. I will see you all next week. Or sorry, tomorrow. Um, so without further ado, my name is Brendan. This is Accidental Origin, your writing, weekly writing web show. Peace out, guys. Have a good one.